Let's first understand why and when we need aliases in Tableau. Sometimes in Tableau projects, we face the following situations. The first one is when we have a poor data quality in our datasets, wrong data, typo, or inconsistent values. So we have somehow to clean up our data before we start building our visualizations. For example, we have the following scenario in the table customers. We have bad data quality inside the field country so here we have a typo sometimes it's germany sometimes it's deutschland sometimes they call it usa and then america so the data quality is really bad in this table so here we have to do something about it and clean up the data and here we have two options either we go back to the original data sets and do the changes on the values and the second option we can do the changes directly in tableau using aliases so how are we gonna clean this up we're gonna remove the e from here the typo and then instead of deutschland we're gonna have germany and instead of America, we're gonna have USA. And we might have another situation where the data quality is good, but the names are too long. And if you are building views, you will understand that everything is tight and you don't have enough spaces to show the whole values of the dimensions. That's why we end up most of the time changing the values of the dimensions to shorter names, to abbreviations. So for example, instead of having the value Germany, we're gonna have DE, instead of USA, US, and here, FR, DE, and US. And here again, we have the same situation. Either we're gonna go back to the original dataset and change the values, or we stay at Tableau and do it directly there using aliases. And in real projects, you cannot go each time back to the source system or to the original datasets and change the values there. Either you don't have the time for that or you cannot do that. That's why we end up always changing those values directly in Tableau. So aliases in Tableau are alternate names for the member of a discrete dimension field so that their labels appears differently in the view. As you might notice, I say it's discrete dimension field and that's because Tableau does not allow you to create aliases for measures or for continuous dimensions. So in Tableau, you can create aliases only for the fields with the role discrete dimension. And now, as usual, we have the questions on which page we can create aliases. Well, only on the worksheet page, we can create the aliases in Tableau and we cannot create it in the data source page. And the second question, can we create aliases globally for the whole workbook, all the views, and as well locally for only one view? And the answer for that, we can create aliases only globally that gonna affect the whole workbook, all visualizations. So we cannot create aliases locally for only one view. Okay, so we're gonna go to the worksheet page. We cannot do it at the data source page. We're gonna stay at the small data source. Let's take the countries, drag and drop it over here on the rows. And then let's take any measure. Let's take the scores, drag and drop it on the columns. So the task here, instead of having those values, France, Germany, USA, we want to have short names. So here we have two methods to create aliases in Tableau. The first one is to go to the data pane on the left side. So let's go to the field country over here, right click on it, and then here we have the option aliases so let's go there and here we're gonna get a new window to edit the aliases so let's check what we can see over here so in the middle we have three columns we have members has aliases and value the aliases the first one we're gonna see all the members of the dimension country those values comes directly from the data sets so those are the original values from the source then the next one we has has aliases it is like an indicator to show us whether the values in the view are gonna come from the original values or from the aliases. And now it's all empty because we didn't add any aliases. And the third field, we have the aliases. Here we can go and edit the aliases of each member individually. And as you can see now, the aliases are exactly identical to the original values. That's why we don't have any aliases. So now let's go and change that. Instead of France, we're gonna have FR. And then instead of Germany, we're gonna have DE. And as you can see, as I'm adding a different values in the aliases from the original values, Tableau gonna mark it as a star. So now let's go for the last one and we're gonna have it as US. And now just check what's gonna happen once I click OK. You see here we have the old values and if I click OK, it switches to the aliases. And that's it, this is how you can add aliases in the data pane. But now let's say that you change your mind later and you don't want to use the aliases and instead of that you want to go back to the original values. So how we can do that? Maybe you already saw it. So let's go back to the country over here on the data pane, right click, 
we go again to the aliases and while editing the aliases there is here an option called clear aliases so what you can do you can go over here and just click on it and everything gonna reset to the original values and as you can see those indicators did vanish that means there is no aliases so now if you go and hit okay the value is gonna go back to the original values from the data sets and here what i usually do once i need aliases in tableau i don't go directly to one field and change the values but instead of that i tend always to create a new duplicate of the field and only change the values of the new fields that i have created so let me show you what i mean so we go to the country then right click and then we go to the option over here duplicate so let's do that and as you can see now we have another field called country with the copy and of course now from the name i can understand this is copy and the other one is the original but in tableau if you look very closely to that data type icon you can see that in the duplicates we have like an equal sign this sign indicates that this field is not original one but it is created from another original field so if you see the sign that means this is a customized field that we have created so what i usually do i go and rename it so we're gonna call it country shorts and now i create the aliases on this new field so let's go and do that right click aliases and then instead of france fr de and us so with that, I have the two options, the long one, the original one, and as well the short version of the country and i can decide in each visualizations whether i'm going to use the short version or the long version all right so that's all for the first method where we created aliases from the left side from the data pane and now we're going to go to the second method where you can create aliases directly from the view so let's see how we can do that just move over the value france over here and right click on it and then here we have the option edit alias so let's select that and now here i have very simple window i just have to edit the alias of only france so i'm giving the alias only for one value let's do that so fr and then hit ok and as you can see in the view now we just changed the value france to fr quickly from the visualization and we can do the same for germany so right click on the value then edit aliases again the same window we're gonna say de and okay and as well the value change directly in the view so this is really quick methods to edit the aliases directly in the view and now if we go and check the dimension country in the data pane so let's check the aliases as you can see the member france and germany has an alias fr and de and we done that directly from the view so now the question which method to use i would say if you want to change multiple values go to the data pane and do the changes it's just easier to work with the window and add all those values but if you want to change a single value from the dimension then you can do it quickly by going to the view and edit the alias and that's all for the aliases this is a really great way how to clean up how to change the values directly in tableau without having you going back to the original data sets and doing the changes there all right so now we have the following tableau task for you the task says abbreviate the values inside the field category in the table products from the big data sets showing only the first character from each value you can pause the video right now to do the task then resume it once you are done all right so now let's do that quickly as i showed you before first we start with duplicating the field so i'm gonna go and do that then i'm gonna rename it to category shorts then i'm gonna present both of the values so category and category shorts so far both of the dimensions has exactly the same values we didn't change anything now we're gonna go to the category short right click on it and then we're gonna go to the aliases the task says the first character the first letter from each value so that means the first one gonna be f the second one it could be o or os so i'm gonna leave it as o and the third one gonna be t then click ok and that says now we have new dimensions that has only the first character of each value and we have done that using the aliases this is really easy all right guys so with that we have completed this section which is a really important step in order to prepare our data sets before we start building our visualizations in the next section we will learn how to organize and structure our data in tableau and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm Rhythm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.